Hey guys, it's the Shaming Gamer. Welcome back to more Let's Play Paper Mario. Oh man, uh, I think the glitches should finally be gone in the recordings with all the random leaking and shit. But anyway, in the last episode, we got here to Dry Dry Outpost, got ourselves a lemon from the oasis that we found, and upgraded Goombario. In this episode, we're gonna continue on and progress through the story. Anyway. Someone who gives things is nice, yes, yeah, very nice. Nice guys get told nice stuff. Give something. If you give them the lemon... Oh, heavenly a lemon! The nicest of nice things. You have proven you're nice by giving me my favorite thing. And since you're so nice, yes, I'll tell you something really nice. So, how to see Mustafa. That's what you're gonna wanna see. How to find Mr. Mustafa, go to the shop in this town. First, buy a dry shroom, then buy a dusty hammer. You must put, you must buy them in the correct order. Yes, remember, dry shroom first, and then dusty hammer. This is a secret sign known to those loyal to Mustafa. If you buy these things in the correct order, and the owner of the shop will let you see Mr. Mustafa. Remember, you must not buy them in the incorrect order. If you seek knowledge, you must give me something more. That's enough. Well, goodbye. Anyway, I wish you luck in finding Mr. Mustafa, nice guy. I'm not sure if that's a, if a, that's a reference to li the Lion King or something, Mustafa, like Mufasa. I, I really don't know because a, a little fun fact about me: believe it or not, I've never actually watched the Lion King before, and a lot of I get a lot of shit for that, but. I, I never, I, I've never actually seen The Lion King before, and it's like one of the greatest movies of all time. But anyway, uh, so if you go back here, you find this young person. Hello, welcome. Who are you? Feeling jolly? Feeling blue? I'm Murray. You see, that's me, a cuter gal you'll ever see. I do magic, but not for free. Your luck has steered you well, for I am a master of the spell. When my spell upon you glows, you might get lucky, but who knows? Do you dare to tackle a chance? Want to watch my cards dance? Oh, yes, I do. Oh, how lovely. Very good. Pick just one now, if you would. I'd pay as much as I could. So anyway, you get the special course, the ordinary course, and the petite course. And anyway, uh... Uh, this, uh... Uh, basically what this does it helps you out in battle sometimes like it'll like randomly in in uh, turn battles uh, in sorry I can't talk <laughs> randomly in battles sometimes Merle will show up and give you a special bonus so sometimes like uh, your attack will be doubled your defense will be doubled um, you'll get uh, you'll get more star points at the end of a battle sometimes stuff like that happens random randomly and less for a, a decent amount of time. I've, I'm not. I'm pretty sure all of the, uh, of the, all of the uh, spells are the same in each one. I think it just depends on. It's either that or uh, it changes. Like it either changes the spells or changes how long it lasts or both. I'm not sure. I could. I honestly couldn't tell you. But I'm gonna get the special course just because I have enough money for it. Well, we're ready. Tally ho! And here we go. And there we go. I think you'll find this power might get your foes to cower. It will light your darkest hour. Even should you meet a beast, do not fear, not in the least. My spell makes a famine feast. See you then. Please come then. Good. Anyway. <laughs> Stupid stuttering retardedness. Anyway. So now that we have that, our, um... Uh, there will be random curses coming up in battles that make life easier. So now, we're gonna go to the shop and do what that mysterious guy told us to do. Wait, that's the Toad House. I've played this game so long, oh my god! But, I'm really thankful that the glitches are gone, but it's actually a week before something very special happens, and I'll tell you right now, it has to do with not having to use this, uh, capture device anymore. I'll tell you that much. You probably already guessed the answer. And to my close friends who are watching this, who I talk to on Skype, they already know what's what I'm talking about. But anyway, so you're gonna want to buy the dry shroom and dusty hammer. What ho! Buying a dusty hammer after a dry shroom? 
It's a secret sign that only friends of Mr. Mustafa know. That means you're in with Mustafa. Hey, brother. Good to meet you. Have you have you have any questions you need answered? You want to see Mr. Mustafa? He's usually up on the highest part of Dry Dry Up. Just keep going up, my man. So, uh, yeah. Need to find a way to get to, like, on... He's, I think he's on, like, on top of a building or something like that. But, anyway. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the items we got. I'm just gonna use the dry room. I can't use the dusty hammer yet. Space, the dusty hammer is just an a, uh, item that you can throw at enemies to do damage. But, anyway, um... So, we're gonna have to find a way to get to the very tip-top... Um, but, uh, you can see, uh, the mysterious guy isn't here anymore, so we can go in this door. And we can go out here and get to the top of this building. And so we're gonna have to keep going this way. Hey, look, a metal, a lost litter. I probably won't be doing the male side quest, because it's a really long and annoying fetch quest that I actually haven't ever finished before. I'm not gonna risk that jump, so I'm gonna use paracarry. Uh, don't, god damn it, fucking, okay, paracarry. Wee Floating! That's so much fun. Alright. And here's Mr. Mysterious Guy. Hey, nice guy, we meet again. I'm glad you found me. Oh my goodness, he is Mustafa. Plot twist. Oh god. I'm Mustafa. I'm the one you've been seeking all this time. When I'm out and about in dry dry elbows, I use the same sh no, the name. I use the name Sheik. It's always good to meet a genuinely nice guy. I meet people all the time, but you are by far the nicest guy I've met so far. Your name is Mario, yes? I heard that you want to go to Dry Dry Ruins. I have a feeling you are on an important journey, so I will tell you a little secret. Dry Dry Ruins is a very important place. My ancestors have watched over it for many generations. If I do not keep evil folk out of the ruins, who will? You must promise me that you will tell no one this secret. I'll give you this. The Pulse Stone, which basically flashes when you get closer to Dry Dry Ruins. This Pulse Stone is the key to finding Dry Dry Ruins. Take it to... Take it to the desert, yes. The Pulse Stone will flash above your head as you get close to the ruins. The closer you get to the ruins, the faster the Pulse Stone will flash. Follow where it leads you. Find the place where the Pulse Stone flashes the fastest and use it to open the way. And, yeah, just do exactly what he just said. So now, we can finally find our way to Dry Dry Ruins, so we're gonna do that right now. But, uh, first, uh, let me look at my items and make sure that I have a lot of good items to go out with. Oh, darn it, it's blinking again. Crap. Well, at least it's not blinking as much. I apologize. But it, it's, it, ah, balls. Whatever. Deal with it! I'm sorry. Don't worry, the blink I guarantee you the blinking will be gone next step or the next episode of Vapor Mario and the next episode will pass actually. But I, I apologize deeply. But anyway. I'm just gonna look over my sorry, I have enough stuff. We're good. We're good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and save real quick. Oh goodness. Alright, so now we're gonna find our way to uh to the dry drum run, so I'm gonna head north. So basically, the pole stone will flash every time you get closer to the dry drum ruins. This is kind of like a hot cold thing. So okay, now it's above our head, so we're getting closer. Okay, so the north. See, it's blinking slowly. Let's hit these blocks. I don't know why they're here, but they're there, so I might as well hit them. Oh, blocks. Going to them. Yeah, you can see that the gemstone is slowly getting uh, moving faster. So obviously, if we go this, uh, we go this way, it's, going, it's blinking even faster. Yep, see, it's blinking faster. So we just go. Oh goodness! All right, I'll, I think I'll keep this battle, and we haven't battled yet. So, quick hammer! Yeah, I didn't mention in the last episode that we got the quick hammer, which basically just attacks all enemies on the ground. Ah, I forgot. Spikies. Oh, well, that sucks. Ah, oh, action commands. There we go. 
die to the wrath of my hammer that sucks balls. Damn it. Ah, hammer. I've played this so long. Oh, goodness. No, why did I do that? Dumbass. All these partners don't have HP in this game. There are good sides and downsides to that in this game. Because Paper Mario 2, uh, your, uh, your allies have HP bars. Alright, there we go. 59 star, star points total. Should be leveling up soon. Oh! This is the first instance of a curse. This spell, this spell will increase the number of coins. So, that's cool. And I get an item. Dried fruit. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, look at all the coins and all the enemies. I can't dodge all of them. There's a fire flower over there, and I want it, so I'm going to go get it. Fire flower. Yep, getting even closer. Uh, south. And then the free and the frequency of the sound of the pitch also gets higher, so uh, that keep that in mind too. Oh, we're getting even higher. What's this? Whole stone. Ooh. And here we are. We have found dry, dry ruins. This is the next dungeon in the game, and we are going to start it in the next episode. So thank you all for watching, guys. And in the next episode, um, we're going to go on to dry, dry ruins. Um, there's no save block anywhere. Oh well. But anyway, thank you all for watching. This has been a fairly short episode, just because I've had a lot, a lot, a lot of long episodes. Uh, recently so I want to keep it short this time so anyway thank you all for watching this is Sham Gamer and I'll see you guys next time for dry dry ruins see you guys then guys that was redundant